Hi, this is Todd with Land the Map. In this video, we're going to focus on the basics of the net, at least as far as it relates to geometry. So the net is a 2D representation of a three-dimensional object. So we're going to focus on prisms, in this case, rectangular, a couple triangular, and a trapezoidal prism. And then we're also going to look at a cylinder. So all that's coming up next on the Land the Map. All right, we're going to look at the net of some prisms and also a cylinder. So first, let's look at the prisms. A prism is a three-dimensional object. It has two bases that are parallel and are the exact same size. So I have a couple triangular prisms, a trapezoidal prism, and a rectangular prism here. So let's look at the rectangular prism first, probably the most common one. So when we look at this, the yellow sides here, these are considered our bases. They're parallel with each other, and you can see that they're the exact same. So what we're going to do with this three-dimensional object is we're going to cut along the edges. And when we do that, it's going to give us a two-dimensional shape. This shape right here is our net. Now, when you look at this net, you can see that there are actually six different sides. There are four sides here in blue that wrap around. We call this the lateral face. The two yellow sides on top and the bottom here, those are our bases. And so those are our six sides. If we wrap our object back up, so our two-dimensional object, if we, if we fold it back together, we get our original 3D object. So let's look at our next one, another prism, the right triangular prism. You can see the bases are both right triangles. They're the exact same dimensions and they're parallel. So just like before, we're going to cut right along the edges. And so we're going to take our three-dimensional object here, we're going to cut it, and we're going to lay it out flat. So this is now two-dimensional. And you can see there are five sides here. We have our two orange right triangles, and we have our three blue lateral faces. They're all rectangular, rectangular shape. If we would fold this back together, you can see how it would bring us back to our original three-dimensional shape. So this would be the net of this uh, three-dimensional shape, the, the right triangular prism. So here's another triangular prism. This one's the equilateral triangular prism. All the sides of the triangle are the same. So our two bases are both right, or both triangles that are equilateral. And just like before, we cut on the edges. You'll notice we have our two bases, the triangles in orange, and we have three sides that are blue. And we can fold it right back together to get the original one. Now this has five sides, just like our right triangular prism did. So it's the exact same. Matter of fact, here's the other triangular prism and they have the same five sides. Next up is the trapezoidal prism. Okay, much like the other prisms here, you can see the orange is the base. They're the exact same, and they're parallel with each other. So like we've done before, we're going to cut along all the edges here. And when we do that, that's going to give us our net, which is our two-dimensional shape. When we look at this, you're going to see there's a total of six sides. We have our two bases, the two trapezoids. But because a trapezoid is a four-sided object, it actually creates four lateral faces or four rectangles that wrap around. So when we put this back together, you can see how we have our four sides in blue plus our two bases, a total of six sides. All right, finally, the cylinder. Now, this is also a three-dimensional object, but it's a little bit different because the lateral face, the part that wraps around, doesn't have like straight edges. It's rounded and curved. So if we did cut along the edges, We'd have two circles, the top and the bottom. Those are our bases. They're the same thing, parallel with each other. The part when we cut it, or the part that wraps around, you're going to see that it's a rectangle. So the net for this particular uh, shape is going to be two circles and a rectangle that wraps around. You can see when we put these all back together, we would have our three-dimensional object. Well, hopefully this was helpful. We'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome. And you can always visit us at The Land of Math. So until next time, we'll see you on The Land of Math.